Morning guys, it's Monday morning, back on the Aston Martin DBS and been doing some polishing already today. One of the hardest things I find with an enhancement detail is knowing exactly where to stop because obviously a full correction, you're looking at getting the paints 99% perfect, if not 100% perfect. Uh, but with a enhancement detail, there's no set kind of 50, 60, 70%, it's just one or two hits. Make sure it's refined down properly and move on to the next panel. Usually you get 60, 70% improvement and it's difficult to know when to stop. If there's a mark left after a couple of hits, you could think, oh, I'll just do another, another go and I'll just try it again and again. And all of a sudden you're at a full correction detail, which obviously this isn't. So I'll show you some of the before and afters in a minute. Uh, but if I just go straight to the afters, you'll probably think, oh, there's loads of marks all over it still. But then when I show you the before, as you'll see it's greatly improved. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is have a go at cleaning these bonnet vents up. The customer said, can I recolor them? He didn't know if it was wax build up or if they were just uh, tarnished, but actually it's wax build up. So see in there from where it's previously been waxed or polished and all over. So you see all these little white kind of bits on the edge of the grill. These are gonna come out. So these would come out anyway uh, for polishing, but while they're out, I'll give them a clean up. It is Tuesday and I took very little footage yesterday. I kind of felt man flu-y and, and ill and looked like this. Well, that's kind of how I always look. This might be the world's shortest vlog. We'll see, see what else I come up with. This is the Aston Martin DBS that I had in last week and I've already done the calipers, arches. I've been polishing my way around the car and I've got a couple of panels left to do, which I'm gonna show you now. And I said previously that an enhancement detail is quite a tricky one for me. Uh, a correction detail is great, you carry on working on the panel until it's perfect and then move on to the next panel. Uh, for whatever reason, be it budget or just how the customer wants to use the vehicle, uh, they might not want to get it 100% perfect. They might want to improve what's there. And so an enhancement detail is usually a one or two hits. Uh, the panel gets done with sometimes just a one stage polish if that finishes down correctly. If not, uh, slightly harder and then a softer polish to, to make sure it's refined and then you move on. So there's, there's no set improvement kind of scale. Isn't it? So I never say to a customer it's gonna get better by 45 or 65%, but usually it's kind of around that 40 to 70%, depending on what the paint's like. And there are gonna be marks left when you see it under harsher lighting conditions, like a petrol station forecourt or direct sun, for instance, you'll still see some scratches. But in general, in most lighting conditions, uh, when you're out and about, it's gonna look a lot deeper, a lot glossier, uh, the colour's going to look a lot richer than it did when it had all the swirls on it. Anyway, this is obviously taped up ready to polish, I haven't polished it at all yet, so you'll see all the swirls underneath of the same swirls, I'm going to polish this section uh, and then take it off and you'll see what the difference in a refinement is, because if I just showed you the after and you saw all the marks, you'd think, oh, he hasn't polished it, but once you see the difference, you definitely will. <laughs>
And so there we go. You've just seen me polishing this upper section, removing the tape, panel wiping it, uh, which is important because it gets any oils out that are hiding swells because a lot of times um, body shops in particular I had this issue on the Jaguar that I did last week it looks like it looks good and then when you panel wipe it down there's lots of then deeper rubbing lines left so panel wipe it afterwards to check your uh, true correction and you can see the difference you can see there's still plenty of little marks there if this was a full correction I'd be doing that probably three or four times to get all of those marks out but the the improvement over what it was is dramatic I, I think you'll agree going from the unpolished section to the polished section. There's a lot more clarity. You can actually see that color of the paint again, uh, whereas before it was just a mess of swirls and lines. So I'm gonna carry on around the car. Obviously I didn't refine this uh, yet because I've got to cut this section and I'll, I'll refine the whole wing. Uh, and then carry on on the door, the front wing, and then it's time for the coatings. Hope that's given you a bit of an insight into what an enhancement detail is and what it does. What a uh, whirlwind, uh, DBS is finished. It's been a couple of mad days. Every time I try and pick the camera up, something happens. So there's not a lot of footage, I'm afraid. I think I showed you the G-Technic Crystal Syrup Ultra being applied. Uh, then it had uh, two coats of... <coughs> message. Two coats of uh, G-Technic Exo. Wheels are back, really good job. New center caps that I sourced from uh, Aston Martin Cambridge. Uh, so, and then obviously the repainted uh, calipers behind. Oh, battery light is flashing. I will be two seconds. And we're back. So freshly painted calipers, new center caps, refurbished wheels, and nice clean arches. So that area is looking much, much fresher than it was before. Enhancement on the bodywork. Obviously there are gonna be some marks left on it, but the overall appearance is massively improved. And uh, the usual rain repellent on the glass, interior clean. Uh, all the exhaust and seals and underside giving a clean up as well and yeah looking at an awful lot fresher than when it came in like I say almost the end of the year been a crazy year I'll probably do another piece to camera I'm hoping to get my Porsche back into here later tomorrow and finish that off ready for Christmas and that's it I'll give you a walk around of this now and hopefully speak to you again soon It's Friday night, uh, last day before we break up for Christmas. My car's finally finished, but I'm not taking it home because the roads are filthy, might use it next year. But I'm gonna put it up for sale. So if you're after a low mileage 997 C4S, get in contact, it's a lovely car. Um, thank you very much for watching this year. I hope you all have a good holiday season. I'll um, put some more of my holiday bits at the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the last ones. I think the next bit will be on an island on, in the south of Cambodia. So hope you enjoy that. Got lots more coming next year, including two fantastic cars to start 2018. So stay tuned and um, come back and hopefully have a look at those ones. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Uh, right, so we are on uh, Koh Rong San Luem, or Siluem, however they pronounce it. And this is our villa, it's a Seoul Beach Resort. Uh, this was our little treat to ourselves. Um, so way more expensive than any of the other night's accommodation we've got but uh, this is our beach villa and we're right on the beach as the name suggests.
So I'd say probably the most kind of idyllic place I've been. Um, certainly the quietest. No, uh, no one trying to sell you stuff down on the beach here, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, it's just just amazing. So we're here for four nights. Uh, we went over to the other side of the island last night for the sunset, um, and we'll probably try and do the same tonight. On our way to watch the sunset on the second night, and this is the trek through the jungle. And I don't know if they're insects or birds, but that noise seems to follow you wherever you go around Cambodia. It was all over Angkor Wat. And then all of a sudden it will just stop. And then it'll be back again. So we've got about one and a half kilometers of this, and then the sunset.